Hi guys, today I'll be taking you guys in the parish of St. Patrick's. We'll be heading to the Welcome Stone, Bathway Beach, and also the Livora Beach. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Grenada is a small island with so many things to explore and experience. I'm so excited, not only because I get to experience it for myself, but I get to take you guys along with me as well. This is my second time attempting the first time it was raining now it's sunny and hot and perfect so i'm hoping to get a better view and i hope that you guys enjoy this video as well we took about an hour and 20 minutes approximately an hour and 20 minutes to get here they're already walking but we're coming all right so this is a big hill that we have to walk up small thing that man small small thing now I'm kidding. This hill was really a killer. My dad is already resting up there. Nevertheless, the hike was worth it. The trick to this hill is you have to take your time. That's one. Two. Go left, right. Left, right until you reach up on the top. Don't be that bad. Child. That wasn't working out for me. I was still tired and all I wanted to do was sit. On the bright side, the view was beautiful. My legs are hurting already. After walking sideways, I tried to figure out another way to make it easier for me. So I decided to walk backwards. That was the worst mistake ever. My legs were killing me. I felt like I was in the gym. <sighs> Lord, Lord. What do you call this in your country? <laughs> At this point, I knew I messed up. I shouldn't have run. But back at square one. <laughs> you know what I said? I need to lose some weight, guys. Like, I am not fit at all. <laughs> I'm Once again, they all left me hanging, but I was determined, doesn't matter how long it takes, I'm gonna get to the top. <laughs> Finally made it to the top. We're gonna go through this little trail. The hardest part is over. We began our journey down to the welcome stone it was really relaxing it was really nice and cool and it was just beautiful in general look at all these bushes guys it's beautiful middle of nowhere 
everywhere but nowhere still looks beautiful and can i say if you look on the left you see this and if you look on the right you see that because there's really nothing to see but bushes but i hope that you're enjoying this vlog so far we're about to go and meet up with the rest because your girl had to take some rest but let's go ah oh, that rhyme hello what is going on please hello this is the disadvantage of being the last person at the back because now we're kind of lost yay okay never mind if you are visiting if you are planning on visiting grenada on your number one list or your bucket list because it's a it's a good exercise for one it's beautiful for two and i just think it's something to do while you're in grenada so make sure whenever you guys come into grenada you check out the welcome stone or the welcome rock yay we're almost there we got a few well we're actually here because once we cross over here It's one of the best places on the island to visit. From there you can see everything and it's so beautiful and peaceful. If you look carefully, you can also see Karaku and Grenada's sister islands. So, was the walk worth it? Yes, it was. The breathtaking view is worth the hike up the hill, overlooking the Lavora Pond and the Pathway Beach. The Welcome Stone is perfect for reading your Bible, reading a book, or even meditating on life. It's a good place to reflect on the things that's going on in your life or the things that you have overcome. During my time there, I got to reflect on the things that I'm thankful for in life, such as my business, my family, my friends, and life in general. Don't leave your snack and your water behind. It's a good place to eat as well. Just in case you did not notice, over there is a Lavora Pond, and then that is the Bathway Beach. So we're heading back up. I enjoy the beautiful view. So we're off to our next stop to get some food at the Bathway Beach. The Bathway Beach is an extremely pleasant beach. The brick walls help to create calm and shallow waters that are perfect for a relaxing day. It is located in the northeast corner of the island. It's also a great spot for bathroom breaks, lunch, or just a relaxing time. It's very beautiful, but I don't think this is a beach that I would really swim in because it seems rough, but it's really beautiful as you guys can see behind me. We then drove down to the Lavora Beach, which is another beautiful place, but I'm just gonna let you guys see for yourselves. On our way there, we also saw some cows. Take a small hike on the beach side. Not only is this beach beautiful and partially empty, but we got to see a lot of small islands from this area.
this little walk was fun. We got to listen to the sound of a wave. We got to see the bushes. It was just a relaxing time. Wait until you see the end. This is for sure another place that I will come just to hold a little meditation. It's very relaxing. The waves from the beach or from the sea is really nice for someone who just might be going through a lot and just needs somewhere to just relax and clear their mind. Guys, look at the beauty. Grenada is nice! Let me just say, this was my favorite part. What are these car guys? That dead and they just stuck there. Well, it really looks pretty though. And then there's another one right here. <laughs> All that water went straight in my mouth. The water comes through this hole. I'm not sure if you guys are going to get to see. No, you don't see. But whenever the water comes through that hole, you get the rainbow color. And it actually, you can actually see. You can actually see the rainbow colors in between there. But it's really pretty. And by the way, I just got wet for the vlog. I really wish that you guys could see the rainbow. It is so beautiful. You look at these things and you're saying, look how God is so creative to actually have the shape of a rainbow and also the colors of the rainbow. At this point, I was just ready to get wet. And so we did it for the vlog. Now that was fun. So this is what? The wilt? The wilt? So you eat it? Yes. I see oh. oh. really cool. I've never really. I don't know about that, and I wouldn't eat that. Yeah, something is inside of it. But it's cool. It bites? No. It's come out anyway, not. Oh, nice. It's pretty. nice guys so we did it for the vlog this place is beautiful it's also a nice place to make tiktok videos and have fun of course i had to take a walk on this beautiful white sand beach Levora Beach is roughly a 15 to 20 minutes walk or a 5 minutes drive north of Bathway Beach. While Bathway Beach seems to be more popular, Levora Beach is prettier and a lot less busy. Unlike Bathway Beach, there are no vendors at the Levora Beach. So if you're planning on visiting, you will need to bring your food and your drinks. I know that you guys always hear me say that Grenada is beautiful. But when you come to places like these, it is amazing, guys. The view is beautiful. I like the little house right over there as well. It is really beautiful. Like, this place is beautiful. And the water as well. I'm not sure if you guys can see clearly, but the water itself is amazing. I just want to go inside and just... Oh. To sum everything up, I had an amazing day. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome, 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 welcome. If you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet, click on that subscription button right down below and turn on that notification bell so that you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and always remember to stay true to yourself because there's nobody in this world that is better than you. So that friend, so that friend, so that friend, so that friend, so that friend. To tell a friend that Anto say to tell a friend to subscribe to her channel. Until next time, guys. Peace.